What's going on guys? Uh, gonna do a new video again here today throughout the weekend. Um, I've been a little sick here again. No, I don't think Corona, but just had a cold going on. Uh, so I've been seeing home, not doing a whole lot, and just kind of distancing myself, if you will, in case it is something like that. Um, so we have made a little progress here. Today I want to finish up with the fuel lines, part three. Um, and then I want to get the O2 in the exhaust. I at least want to do that much, and then we might take a look at uh, getting everything wired into power. And uh, I don't know if I'll get that far today just based on motivation, but uh, I do want to get the stuff under the car done so we can stop crawling under the car. And uh, then we can kind of just work on the electrical stuff, and that'll be it until it runs. Um, so let's take a look at what I've gotten done since the last video. If you take a look down here, I do have some new uh, some new clamps and stuff. I've changed things up a little bit, and as you see, there's some wiring there. Let's uh, get this light turned on. All right. So just uh, I guess just a heads up quick before I show you guys. This is just a temporary setup. Um, I do intend to change this a little bit. We'll talk about that down here. Uh, if we take a look. We have a, a fuel pump mount that I just made quick, and then the fuel pump is the line is going up over the exhaust into the tank. I did test here, and we get fuel pressure, so I need to finish the line and uh, just join it up all the way up there. Um, it is behind the cancer there. Some people commented on the the cancer this car has, saying I should fix it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that actually. What I want to do with this car is. To have it look a little rough on the outside, have it sound nice, have it have a clean engine bay, and then uh, hopefully soon we're going to go through this interior as well. So it'll have a clean interior, clean engine bay, and it'll look rough on the outside. Uh, just a little something I've wanted to do to the car since I got it. I think the roughness is kind of, it's character and I like it. It's not hurting the car, it's not structural damage by any means, and I do have new fenders and quarters in storage. So if we want to fix it, we can always do that. Um, one thing I'm going to do today is that fuel line, I just don't like where it's going. So we're gonna put it down towards the center because it looks like over time, I'm sure it'll rub on that. Uh, so we'll fix that and then this line coming off here is actually for the O2. So we're gonna put the O2 on the driver's side piece of the exhaust, um, probably right behind where the manifold collects or we'll do it behind where the wide pipe collects depending on how much length we have in that, that wire. Um, yeah, so uh, let's get started here. I'm gonna take a look at the fuel lines. I also need to run to the store because I need a three quarter inch uh, drill bit to drill the O2 sensor hole in the exhaust. As you can see, that's a pretty good size. And I only have, I think, up to half an inch there. So I'm gonna run to the store, we'll come back, we'll do the fuel lines, we'll do the O2, and uh, we'll get some stuff done today. All right guys, got back from the store, got all the stuff we needed. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that in the background. It was super loud in my last video, but it didn't seem that loud in person. But that is the fuel pump running. Uh, just have it hooked up to a battery right here. Um, again, we'll take a look down there. See the, the inlet. I connected the pre-filter again, just at an angle so it goes up and over the exhaust. Um, and then we have the return, it flips around. If we go up here, Show you guys before I turn that off. If we go up here, we have our 60 psi of fuel pressure. I don't see any leaks on the first try. That's kind of surprising, actually. So that's good. We have our fuel pressure. Um, and then if we go back here and we take a look in here, hopefully you can hear it. You can hear our uh, return fuel, our return line working. Um, get that back on there. So uh, yeah. That's that. The, the fuel system is done. The fuel system is working. I am going to recreate that plate. Uh, let's turn this off quick and then let's talk about that. All right, so that, that pump's actually not that loud. I did put a, a rubber piece around it so it doesn't rattle or anything like that. It might have quieted it, it down a little bit. But once it gets fueling it, it quiets up a little bit too. So uh, let's take a look, or let's talk about the uh, the mounting plate that I have on there. Uh, like I've said, that is temporary. I think I'm going to keep the pumps in the same location, but I want to recreate that. I need a, a metal shears that I don't have right now. Um, I'm going to create that. I'm going to do a, uh, I want to do a housing on it. So all you'll see is hoses coming out of it, and then hoses going right back into it. Um, so you won't really be able to tell what it is except for hearing what it is. Um, so that is temporary. I know I've, I've gotten some criticism for that just because people don't like the location. 
Uh, I think the location's fine, and then I have that F-body muffler in the back. I, I can't put it anywhere else, guys. So, um, yeah, that's kind of that. Uh, let's go over to the passenger side, because I did also get, uh, I went about a step bit, so I had a three-quarter inch drill bit. So let's take a look under here. All right, not much room under here for me, but uh, as you can see, we have our clamps on there, and we have an O2 sensor. That's going all the way up to the throttle body, so after I get up here, they are officially done under here. Well, I do want to kind of, I kind of tuck the wires up in there for now. I do want to uh, kind of make those in a neater fashion. Um, and then one other thing worth mentioning is I have to join, a, join the hose here. You can see it there. Uh, luckily, it's not leaking. I do need to, I lost, a, or I didn't lose a P-clamp. I'm just out of P-clamp, so I'm going to put it up there in the existing holes that we made where the fuel pump was earlier. So that is that guys, uh, we have a fuel system, we have an O2 in there. Uh, some little cleanup things to do that I'll do before I talk to you guys next. Uh, but next thing, next uh, few things we're gonna do, we're gonna have to run uh, that wire in there into the, uh, into the interior and there's a hole over there where the AC lines went through. Uh, we're gonna run them in there temporarily. This whole heater box is coming out eventually um, so we'll be building a plate there, and in that plate I will build a little, um, like a grommet or something to pass wires through. Because I would like our fuel pump wires to go down this way. Our power wires are going to come out over here to where the battery sits. But for now, temporarily, they'll have to come out of that hole there, because there are no other grommets on this side. That's okay though, because I'm really looking forward to seeing how much this actually cleans up the engine bay. Um, eventually when we need to do our header build too, it'll be a little more convenient and it'll be nice to see the headers down there instead of those crusty cast manifolds. So, that's it guys. Um, a little bit of Saturday progress for you guys. I'll try to get this published tonight so you will be seeing it day of. Um, more videos coming soon. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of it. We do have an ugly license plate coming in for the Trans Am. I'll show you guys when that comes in. Basically, just one of those on a silver car. It's going to look nasty, but... Uh, Whatever. Uh, we also will be doing the uh, suspension stuff here soon. Once I can get the, the Trans Am out of the garage, I'm going to finish up the, the springs that are broken. I'm going to put the, uh, got those goodies over there for the Trans Am. We're going to start doing some BMR stuff on there just to make it a little more fun to drive. Uh, we have our strut rods, our sway bar, and uh, shocks and miscellaneous bushings for the Rambler. So all that stuff is coming. We're getting there. Um, just kind of taking our time and getting sick, you know. So that's kind of it for today, guys. Uh, we did make progress. I think next video we'll have this thing running. So I'm pretty excited for that. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.